Hello, I'm going to do a uh, brief tutorial for you, basic lesson uh, for Dave McPherson's I Don't Do Requests or I Don't Do Regrets, whichever version you're listening to, it's uh, going to be the same. Uh, I would do a cover of this song myself, but I really can't sing, so uh, I was looking for a tab everywhere for this, couldn't find one, so I've worked it out myself. Um, hopefully this will give you a bit of an idea really, I'm not saying this is the right way to play it, it's just a way to play it. Um, and hopefully you can play around with it and have some fun. So, the way you want to start it is uh, just your standard tuning. You want a bit of a, uh, kind of a, I don't know what the chord's called, but it's a mixture between an F chord and a C. Uh, so it's an F, but the only difference is that you're not going to be uh, pressing down on the bottom string where you normally would there. So you've got a, uh, a chord that should sound like this. Um, Probably should mention actually for the um, the verses and the intro, you want a strumming pattern which is going to sound something like this. Let's see if I can get my hand in the picture for you. It's going to be. Uh, it's probably easier if you use a pick, to be honest, but um, I've got into a really bad habit my whole life of not playing with a pick, so uh, I've just got fingers like steel. Um, so you've got this chord anyway. What you want to be doing now is you've got your little finger free um, right here. Um, on that chord you want to be tapping on and off on the third fret. Third fret bottom string right there. And it should sound like this. Um, I don't know if I'm teaching you to suck eggs or not um, but I'll just slow the strumming pattern down for you, uh, if I could do it without confusing myself too much. Um, and you kind of, I guess you want to be hitting the, when you've got your little finger on, I guess you want to be hitting that on the upstroke, so. Um, next chord, nice and simple, you keep the exact same pattern. Um, but you're just going to slide it up to the third fret as the bass position, if you like. So you've got that there. Um, little finger does nothing at the moment. Um, obviously, the last chord we were tapping on the third fret bottom string there. What you're going to do is just keep um, using your index finger, just bar it on and off like that sort of motion. Um, this probably makes more sense if I actually show you. So you've got the first one. And at the end of those two chords, um, you just want to do one up stroke with your little finger on the fifth fret there. And all together that should sound like this. Um, then you go on to the You want an A chord for that. Now if you actually listen to pretty much any version that Dave's done, he's kind of hammering on and whatnot, and you could, I guess you could be like The basic patterns that you want is A, F, C, and then the second time round, so every even time round on that you're going to be putting a G instead of a C. So again, it's probably easier to show you. So it's going to be. I'll strum it for the sake of uh, making it easier at the moment for you and I. And then um, you can add that on. Obviously, Dave loves his harmonics and whatnot, doesn't he? Um, which is just the fifth harmonic there. Um, fishing in a G. And then into the, um, the chorus. The chorus is going to be A minor, F, C, G. So, A minor, F, C, G. 
and um, it's going to be a, a strumming pattern like. Time, time's running out. You get older and time. Have nothing to show for myself, but I still like that. Once you've got that, um, play around with it, have some fun, and um, you should be able to work the rest out yourself. Uh, enjoy. Hopefully, it's some help.